All right, I'm going to show you yet another example of state-enforced atheist tyranny over in China. You see, atheism is a sci-fi death cult, and I can personally attest to that because I myself am a former atheist. I left atheism when I was in my teens and got saved, got born again, and never been happier since leaving the sci-fi death cult of atheism. That's all it is. Science, atheism is a science fiction death cult. Because every single communist leader in throughout history was a militant atheist. You see, communism is the corrupt fruit, the corrupt uh, child of atheism. That simple. And China is proof of the tyranny that atheism can, get, can do to people when you don't have church-state separation. And this is an article on the Christian Post talks about China sentences Christian bookseller to seven years in prison for selling quote, illegal books. This is what happens when you don't have church-state separation. Atheists can get all tyrannical. You see, atheists don't like church-state separation because it prevents the government from doing tyrannical things like this. I'm going to read you this article. It says, a Chinese Christian online bookstore owner has been sentenced to seven years in prison and fined nearly $30,000 for engaging in what the regime calls or deems as, quote, illegal business operations. Persecution Watchdog International Christian Concern reports that in September 2019, Chen Yu, who operated his online bookstore in Zhejiang, hope I'm saying that right, provinces, uh, Taizhou City was detained for selling unapproved religious publications imported from Taiwan, the U.S., and other countries. Last week, he was sentenced to seven years in prison and fined uh, 200,000 RMB, or $29,450 in American money, I think, according to a document from the People's Court of Linhai City shared by Father Francis Liu from the Chinese Christian Fellowship of Righteousness. Now, obviously, he's a Catholic, which Roman Catholicism is not Christianity. Roman Catholicism is a pagan, idolatrous, Babylonian cult. Just wanted to point that out. So I use the term Christian just you know very lightly, because obviously, Roman Catholics are not Christians. Roman Catholics are idolaters, they're pagans, they're Satanists. But I'm just using it to show an example of what the tyranny that Satan force atheist does. Atheism does to religious people. People who claim to be religious, I'll put it that way. Continuing. Additionally, Chen will also have his iPhone confiscated, uh, while the 12,864 Christian books from his bookstore will be destroyed by the Lenhai Pub uh, City Public Security Bureau. International Christian Concern reports that police also launched a nationwide investigation to track down the bookstore's customers uh, through sales records and will confiscate their purchase books. Uh, Gina Go. Uh, International Christian Concerns Regional Manager for Southeast Asia said Chen's sentencing reveals China's, commun China's Communist Party is, quote, increasingly frightened by all things religious. Quote, for religious symbols, Chinese couplets to Christian books, anything that features religious elements is no longer tolerated by the Chinese Communist Party, unquote, she said. That's simple. This is what happens when you have militant atheists and running your country. You don't have the church-state separation. Because then the church-state separation would prevent the government from doing tyrannical authoritarian things like this. You see, state-enforced atheism is not only a science fiction death call, it's also authoritarian, it's fascist-like, all that stuff. Communism is the corrupt offspring of atheism. You see, Karl Marx was a militant atheist. He hated uh, religion, which of course I don't follow religion, I follow Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not religion, Jesus Christ is a relationship with God. I okay, just want to point that out. And, and again, Roman Catholics are not Christians. They're pagan idolaters. They worship a false goddess, you know, Mary, the Queen of Heaven. Uh, Jeremiah 44 verses 17 and 25 talks about the Queen of Heaven, which is the pagan Babylonian goddess that Roman Catholics worship. So I want to point that out. So this Christian is a Roman Catholic pagan. But uh, this is what happens when you don't have the church-state separation. This is what happens when you don't have religious liberty and freedom of, of speech, freedom of expression, liberty of conscience, all that stuff. The atheists can get all tyrannical. And this is the corrupt fruit that atheism produces. Again, atheism is tyrannical. Atheism is bondage. Atheism is slavery. That's, a, that's just that simple. When I was an atheist, I was never happy. When I was an atheist, I felt like I was in bondage. When I converted away from atheism and became a born-again Christian, I felt truly free. I felt liberated. That simple. So don't be deceived by atheism. It is a sci-fi death cult. And authoritarian to the core and this stuff like this proves it so may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye